Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to open this. This is the new Halloween Kills mask by Trick or Treat Studios and I got it from madabouthorror.co.uk. They got it super fast. It was released in England at Mad About Horror the same day it was released by everyone else in America. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to the lady from Pure Horror. Apparently she was the one uh, at Mad About Horror HQ who picked out this mask for me. And I just covered up my address there, but I got here super, super quick. And I just did the little slip before I started filming. And I've got one of these awesome, awesome cards here. There's like a little postcard. Sam Hain, 1992. With some exclusive artwork there. That is really, really nice to have. A limited edition of 250 postcard design exclusively for Mad About Horror. But the artist Sam Hain, 1992. And yeah, man, that is just amazing to have. So... Let's do it! This is the moment I've been waiting for. I haven't seen the film yet, but about to see the mask. Again, massive thank you to madaboutthorror.co.uk for being so fast and so efficient and so awesome and making dreams come true, or nightmares come true, I guess. Oh, there it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Just give you guys a quick peek. If you're not familiar with the channel here, there is a lot of horror stuff on display and it's all had reviews, so check it out, subscribe, see some of this cool stuff. A lot of this stuff has come from Mad About Horror particularly the masks, the 78 mask there, and the 2018 mask, and that Chucky. So just the best place to go for horror stuff, and that Art the Clown mask as well, and the outfit. So make sure you are subscribed, because there are plenty of goodies to behold. Okay, everyone, well, this is really just a quick unboxing, and then I'm going to do the full review showcase video get it under proper lighting you know try it on properly with the cover rules and all that stuff this is literally just an unboxing just to give him my first impressions he's got a little hair on his nose um but i am really happy with uh, the copy that i've received again thank you to the lady from pure horror for picking this out specifically for me and making sure that i got a good copy it's a great copy the eye holes look really good as you can see so great copy. I'm going to try it on now because I am curious. Uh, the 2018 mask that I've had rehauled by Simon on Instagram uh, fits me quite tight, very snug. Apparently this one is a little bit bigger. I can kind of feel that as I'm holding it. Um, the slit up the back here is quite substantial. It's quite a big slit so that will allow for uh, a little bit more room inside the mask. I'm just looking at the wound here. That's really nicely detailed. All right, so let me try it on and we'll see how it fits. It, it is definitely bigger, but it's not too big. It fits actually really nice. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I haven't styled the hair, I haven't lifted the hair off the mask, it's still very flat, but it feels good. It's just a really nice fit, it's not too tight, it's not too big, it's kind of medium for me, it's perfect. I don't know what size my head is, but the 2018 mask is pretty damn tight on me. Uh, in fact, I'll try on the 2018 as well, so you can see. So yeah, it feels good. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to send this off eventually. I'll get it repainted and reworked by Simon. And yeah. It looks good. Stabby, 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 stab, stabby, stab, stabby, stab, stabby, stab, stabby, 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 actually really really happy and very satisfied with what I've got on my head right now okay it fits great it feels good I can breathe I can wear this all day in fact I might do that so let me try on the 2018 again for a comparison not that you're going to be able to tell the difference but just so I can do it Sorry about 
okay, and this is a lot tighter. Instantly, it's like suffocating me. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, no, but it's it fits really snug. This was the 2018 Tots mask, but I had it reworked by Simon Brandolino on Instagram. And uh, yeah, it's tight. It's very tight, but it it looks good. You know, the hair is great. You know, amazing stuff. But it's very tight, so I'm gonna go back to the Kills mask because it just feels so much more comfortable. <laughs> All right. It's just so damn comfortable. Uh, it just fits so snug. Hmm. Oh, which side's the burnt side? That's the burnt side, right? All right, so we want to lift the hair up a little bit. A nice kind of you know, improvement on this, the size of the mask compared to the 2018, but nowhere near as big as a 1978 Tots mask, which is huge. Uh, this is perfect for me personally. I'm a pretty average size head, so this just fits absolutely gorgeous. Let's move around a little bit. All right, so. What I'm doing uh, now is just uh, lifting the, the hair off the, the scalp a little bit here. It is kind of glued down in sections, or at least it was when I first got it here. So I'm just, um, just fiddling around, just lifting the hair off the scalp a bit, getting some volume, getting some nasty little horns, some devil horns and such. Just giving it a bit of volume now. I eventually will send mine off to Simon to rework the same way I did with the 2018 but if you don't want to do that I do see potential here for just quick little easy fixes that you can do yourself like the hairline is the biggest issue for a lot of collectors I hope you can see what I'm showing you here what I would do in this situation is if I didn't have any spare hair around I might try and take a little bit of spare hair from around here and then just glue it over the top of this kind of really obvious transition uh, or you could even do the trick that a lot of people did with the 78 mask is where you put some copy decks glue along the hairline and then pull the hair forward and push it down on top of it to cover up that hairline. Um, but there's different ways you can go about fixing it. Still just lifting up this hair off the scalp a little bit. Just getting some volume. I mean the burnt side is really well done. And I know a lot of people when they're reworking the 2018 mask they will leave the stock hair on there but just restyle it and I get why because it is really good hair it's very good but now we're getting somewhere here really starting to get somewhere I'm just kind of bringing the hair forward just to try and make that transition a bit less obvious but really 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 like this mask man this is a beautiful beautiful mask i shit you not the detail it's all there like all the lines you know i was thinking at first it looked a bit plain on the unburnt side but no it, all the lines and all the wrinkles are there and this uh this whole burnt side i've got, I've got a really good copy here folks we've got the halloween kills tag we've got some blood here very very nice very nice I mean, this is a nice mask right out of the box. Or right out of the packaging. Very, very satisfied with this. I'm going to try it on again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. a real nice look but I love it I am very very happy with this mask very happy I mean for 60 pounds 60 pounds you get in a movie mold mask this is lifted from the mold from the movie beautiful absolutely beautiful
And if you're uh, one of the first 200 people to order it from Mad About Horror, of course you get the beautiful card as well, which I can't wait to display in my collection. You know? Right there. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I'll just give you some quick footage of it on the rotating base. And just natural light, got the light coming in from behind, got the natural light coming in behind me here at the window. And I gotta tell you, honestly, from the heart, this is a very, very good mask. For £60, you're getting a mold that's lifted from the movie mask. So incredibly accurate sculpt and mold to this one. Lifting the hair off the scalp a little bit has given it, I mean, the color of the hair is perfect as well. It's got that really nice kind of chestnut brown but not too dark brown the sculpt very accurate you can tell by the eye holes the shape of those again uh, the lady from pure horror chose me a really good copy so thank you to her really really i was worried about that i was hoping i was going to get a good copy otherwise i'd have to mad about horror fantastic with that if you get any problems any any situation they're so quick and so easy to replace it for you so again props to them and I will do a video for the Mad About Horror YouTube channel specifically for them. So they'll get their own video coming up really soon. So check out Mad About Horror on YouTube for that. But just so pleased with this. You're getting such a good mask for £60. I'm pretty damn happy with this, how it looks straight out of the box. I mean, I'm obsessed. So I'm probably eventually going to send this off to Simon to repaint. Because he's such a wizard when it comes to that stuff. But I am really, really happy with this. And I'm sure you will be too. Halloween fans rejoice the Halloween Kills mask is here and Trick or Treat Studios have done a fantastic job I'm so so happy and a massive thank you again to Mad About Horror for being so awesome and getting this to me so ridiculously fast it's just the best service you can get in the UK alright folks drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more coming and I hope you've enjoyed this quick little look and unboxing at the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Kills life size Michael Myers mask Check out madaboutthorror.co.uk. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.